Alright, welcome to the first tutorial of Game Maker. So I'm using the Pro Edition of Game Maker 8, but that's okay. The edition you could be using it might be slightly different, but they basically follow the same line of concept. So today we're going to be making a Catch the Clown game. I sort of had a little typo here. Alright, so go ahead and create a new game. So what you have up here is your file, edit, resources, scripts, run, window, and help options. Those are all very helpful, but for the purpose of this, we're just going to be using the resources. So in this little drop down, oops, this little drop down box here, we have options for creating different things. But for this one, we're going to be using create sprite, sound, background object and room. Those are the basic things you need when making a game. Okay, so resources and create a sprite. We'll load our sprite. Object clown. Now you can use any op image or sound or background that you want. It doesn't matter, but for the purpose of this I'm going to be using the resources given on the Yo-Yo Games website, which you can find just here. Now, here I have a little preview of our clown. Now, if I remove the background, you'll see that the green goes away. That's very important because when you're creating objects, you might not want to have that awful background in it, so Game Maker comes with the option to remove backgrounds. So we'll remove the background and click OK. But some usually in the uh, earlier editions, you won't have that option there. You'll have find it somewhere around here. Finally, we'll just name our sprite SPR Clown. Now it's a good idea to get into the habit of naming your sprites because when you get more advanced, you start learning how to script and scripting becomes very important eventually. So get into the habit of naming your objects and all that. Alright, so we're going to create another sprite. This one is going to be a wall. Now see how part of my image is blocked out because we have the remove background on so we'll just turn that off and there you go that's back to normal we'll just click OK now moving on to the sounds so SMD this one will be our bounce so we'll load our sound bounce Game Maker comes with a preview option so you can play the sound to see if that's the sound you want. Now it does a loop, but when you're playing larger and longer files it becomes easier. So that's the sound we want to have for our bounce. Click OK, and we'll do the same for our click. and our music. And this will be our background music. So we'll just preview that. You get an idea of what we're having in our background. Click OK. Alright, so moving on, we'll make our background. So click on the create background. Name it. No, we won't name it just yet. We'll go open. Now it's important that you make sure that the background tessellates. What I mean by that is that when you when you put it back in when you put it into your game, you want to make sure that there's no split lines, otherwise it just looks horrible. So we'll name this back red. Alright, so that's our basic sprite sounds and backgrounds. Those are the building blocks for our game. So then we move on to creating an object. Alright, so this will be the object for our wall. 
just because it's the easy one, because all you have to do is name it, use this little drop down box to find the wall, and click solid. And that's all you have to do. Now the next one, for the clown, is going to get a little bit trickier. So I'll open it, name it, oops. It's funny how you, when you're talking, you sort of write what you're talking. Arrow down, clown. Now this one we're not going to turn into a solid. But instead we're going to come down here to the create, uh, to the add event, and we'll make a create event. Alright, so the create event is what we're going to put all our actions in. Alright, so I'm just going to drag this back a bit so we can fit some of this in. Alright, so the create event is what, what that means is that when the object is created, it'll do something. What we want our clown to do is we want it to move in a fixed direction. We want it to move anywhere except standing still at a speed of 4. Don't worry about that relative part, we'll come back to that later. Alright, next we want to play a sound, and that sound will be our background music, and we'll loop it. And finally we'll set an alarm. Step 50, that means it'll just have like a countdown timer, and it'll we'll set that to 50. We'll set it to alarm 0. And what that means is that we come back to the add event, add an alarm 0 event. So on that alarm 0, it'll do something. What we want it to do is we want it to move in those same fixed directions except standing still at that speed of 4. and then add that alarm event again. So what it's going to do is it'll start moving, then when the countdown timer finishes, it'll start moving in another direction, and that final alarm will set it to loop. That's basically what we're going to do there. Next we'll set up one for our collision with a wall, and we'll just... oops, don't want that. So, what we want to actually do is we want to have a bounce. We want to bounce off it, not precisely against the solid object which we set on the wall. So just click OK. I'm not going to change anything there. And we'll also have our bounce sound. We don't want to loop it because then it'll just keep looping. We don't want that. Alright, finally we want to set a mouse event. So when you click on it, it'll do something. What we want ours to do is we come down to the score event, uh, score tab, sorry, and we'll set our score to 10. But we'll set it to relative. This way it'll build on and it'll build up a nice score. Alright, then we want to have our click sound. No looping. Then we want it to move, jump to a random position, snap it to 32 by 32. Well, I'll come back to that in a minute. Finally, we want it to start moving in that direction again. But this time we're going to have it at 0 0.5 in relative, so it gradually gets faster and faster. And that's it for our objects. So let's move on to making our room. I'll just drag that into there. Alright, so basically what you have here is your room. Okay. Now we're going to snap it to 32 by 32. So our clown snaps to that when he jumps to random positions. 